To start off, a reminder that butlers are 8 hit in multiplayer, 2 hit in solo, and regardless of multiplayer or solo, if you have a knife, they are only 1 hit to that knife. Starting off with strategies, the absolute best strategy you can use in any scenario is putting a door in between you and the butler. Butlers take forever to open doors. This makes it really easy to separate you and the butler and create some distance so that you don't die. When it comes to strategies to kill the butler, there are plenty in both mansion and main tile. I'm going to start off in mansion as that's where you will most likely encounter them. The first spot is in the main doorway, so you're going to jump on top of the main door, like I do here, and wait for the butler to aggro you, and then you're going to hang off the ledge of the door and inch forward until you can hit the butler and kill him just like that. This next trick is my most preferred where you close the butler behind a door and hit him through the door. So all you will do is close the door in between you and the butler and just hit the door. Here's another one you can use almost anywhere in the mansion. If you use these small bookshelves, you can jump on top of them and hit the butler while you're on top of them for a free kill. This one is for tiles where you have a fireplace. What you can do is jump from the side of the wall to the fireplace and then hang off the end of the fireplace to hit the butler. For the kitchen, you can jump on top of the fridge that's in the corner and the butler will come right up next to you and you can hit him for a free kill. You can also go on top of doors, although I don't ever really see a need for this because you can just close the door and hit him through it. Lastly, we have the library tile and there are two places you can stand. In both places, the butler will come right up to you and allow you to hit him. In the second place, it can be a bit tricky because the butler likes to just fall down the library again. So the best way to do it in the second place is to wait for the butler to be right up next to you and then drop onto the beam. One last trick in mansion that I mentioned in another tips and tricks video is you can use the nubs on the railings in this main tile and by walking back and forth over them or just running over them you can cause the butler to just drop back down and cycle him in an infinite loop. As for facility, we have one for almost every tile. For the first one, just like in Mansion, you can close the butler behind a door and hit it through the door. For any apparatus room, you can jump on the little place next to the apparatus and the butler won't be able to get you there, but you can still hit them. In belt room, you have a couple of spots. You can jump on any of the shelves and the butler won't be able to get you there, and by hanging off the edge of the shelf, you can hit the butler. Next in belt room you can run over this way and find this pump looking thing and by jumping on top of it the butler will go right up next to you and won't be able to attack you. Lastly you can run over to where these pallets are and go in this spot. However you won't be able to hit the butler so maybe you can just use this spot to regain stamina or wait for a teammate. In the brick rooms if you find this kind of pipe you can jump on top of it and the butler won't be able to hit you. However, he will try to push you off a bit and so you have to cancel him pushing you off by moving the opposite direction. So if he's trying to push you right, you need to move slightly left to counteract it. In these white tile loot rooms, you can usually find these big pallets. 
Jumping on top of these will allow you to kill the butler. Also in these loot rooms you can find pumps similar to the one in the belt room and you can sometimes find a way to jump onto the side of the shelf. And from both of these spots you can kill the butler. If you get this certain locker to spawn in the locker room, you can also use it to kill the butler. What you're going to do is jump onto the railing and then onto the locker when the butler is going to aggro you. From there, you can just hit the butler. Remember to keep inching towards the edge of what you're standing on. If you're not hitting the butler, eventually you'll dip down a little bit and be able to hit him. This is probably my favorite way to kill butler in factory tile. You're going to find the spiral staircase like this and jump in the spot as I do here. In this spot, not only can you kill butlers, but you can kill thumpers, spiders, pretty much any enemy. As for the bees that come out of the butler, the best way to deal with the bees is similar to dealing with the butlers, is using doors. You want to trap them behind a door and then break line of sight as quick as possible. By creating distance and breaking line of sight, the bees lose you pretty quickly, and they take about 6 seconds to open doors. Lastly, here are two things for multiplayer. For killing butlers, you can gain speed and hit them while moving in a circle, and the butler won't be able to hit you if you do it correctly. Worst case, he hits you a few times at the start, but then you gain the speed and are able to kill him without getting harmed. The second trick is trapping the bees permanently. What you're going to do is, similar to Jester and Coil Trapping, you're going to lead them to the railing, and then drop down, and as they follow you down, when they're like halfway between hitting the ground and up top on the railing, you're going to jump, and so they will stick to the bookshelf or to the railing, depending on what's there. Yep. After that, they'll be stuck forever. That's all I have for now with tips for the butlers and the butler bees. If you have any tips of your own, please feel free to share them in the comments below. I'm sure it'll help out a lot of people. Lastly, make sure to join the Discord and go ahead and follow the Twitch while you're at it. I stream a lot and you can catch me playing high quota runs or just messing around in public lobbies. So I hope to see you in there. Peace.